The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 281. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on. She is a visual artist, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Injung Oh. Injung, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hello, everyone. I'm a Korean-American visual artist, and I'm... I'm glad that I'm honored to actually speak about my self-confidence and how my journey has been. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Injung, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? I think everyone knows this. I can do it. That's, yeah, I can do it. I love it. I I remember when um, the first time I heard, like, you know, not I can do it, but you can do it. It was actually like Mm -hmm. a, a cartoon. It was like this train that was going up the hill. And, you know, he kept on telling himself, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can until he actually got to the top of that mountain. And I think that was the first time when I realized, you know, if I just thought about it and just, you know, just focused on it, that it can actually happen. And I think people forget that, you know, we have so much within us to do great things that sometimes we get bogged down by life experiences and life gets in the way. But really, we have what it takes to do what we want to do. So I really love that quote, short and sweet and, you know, very powerful at the same time. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? Well, self-confidence, I, I think it's all about how do you love yourself and how, how can you keep that energy? You know, like just you mentioned, I mean, we can do it. I can do it. It's very simple, short and simple. But a lot of time we just forget that. And how can you, what other things can you do or activities or other things that you can find to do to keep yourself you know, love yourself and who you are and what you want to do and how can you maintain it to keep it up? So I think that's my self-confidence and finding my maintain it so that I can keep on discovering my voice, maintaining my voice and what I want to do and push forward. Awesome. And I love that definition. And I love how you mentioned, you know, you asked that question, how do you love yourself and and maintain it, right? I think maintaining mm-hmm. is probably one of the hardest things to do, right? Because there's gonna, yeah, totally. There's going to be days when we don't love ourselves. You know, sometimes we look. <laughs> oh in, yeah, tell me about. It. <laughs> yeah, we look in the mirror and we're like, oh my god, uh, that is not me today. But you know, we just keep going. And you know, what was your life like before your discovery of self confidence? I mean, it's really hard to define like before and after. I think um, because I think we have all have that moment like oh, you know, I feel, you know, you feel better at yourself and sometimes you don't. So it's really hard to describe like when is before and after because it goes back and forth all the time. Well, at least for me. So for me as an artist and just being a mom and, and a wife and all this have multiple roles in my life, I, I actually found the word of blossom like my own because art is very connected to my life. And I've been painting and doing my own visual language for over 10 years. And all the things that I've been really trying to express was this thing. And I keep on telling myself this thing, but what is this thing? It is kind of a form of intangible, like intangible things, but it's actually having a birth, which means like we all know that it's like, okay, how do I describe this? So, so I create the word called blossom because I've been trying to find a word to push me forward the thing that but I don't really know what you call it or how to describe it because all the time every time it's different but you know you living in a world that you look at this code and just like how you are doing you know you're having this great program to kind of push people forward right but I couldn't really find that connection with my art so I create the word of Velasa it means actually a manifestation of wish or will so I created my own, this visual blossom. I also call it wish or will flower. So I apply that to my life. So every day or every moment when I have that moment, then I tell myself, okay, how am I going to reach my blossom? Like, how am I going to reach my goal and my wish flower? So in order for me to do that, I need this three things. I call it COW cow. It's consistent action and optimism and a willpower. So I specifically apply that to my life. Like I'm like, let's say um, one, one morning I wake up in the morning. It's like, 
you know, like I have this moment in the morning that, oh my God, it's a chaos, the kids and all these other things in my life doesn't really, you know, make sense. I, I wanted to do my own, I wanted to do my own work or art. This is something that I really want to maintain and continue. So then I tell myself to stay, you know, like go to the studio um, that's consistently push myself forward. And then if I hear anything like negative, I tell myself, keep it up, you know, optimism, like keep it positive and how I'm going to stay positive. So, and then like, again, the willpower. So I try to apply that in my life to kind of stay forward, move forward. So that's something that I've been doing. Awesome. And Mm -hmm. I love that, you know, you find ways to push forward. I mean, sometimes, Mm -hmm. you know, it can be challenging, you know, like, especially you being a mom in life and doing your your artwork, you know, having that realization that, you know, you could connect your art to life and build that self-confidence. What's your life been like now? So, I mean, I saw that what you said before and after. So, I mean, like, for example, before Velocim, like how I found this word, it's it's been like kind of a journey. It's just happened organically. But um, because you, I've been focusing on the art and this type of language for many, many years, because that's, that was my passion. That was my kind of a thing. But everybody has their own different thing. But some people actually don't end up searching for it or finding for it. But I think no matter who you are, I think you have to find that thing that ha- what's really connects it to you like specifically so that it makes sense. It's not just the code that you listen or you have to really like, you know, find that system in your life. I don't know is how I should put it so that it's really connected to you and really, how do I describe it? So that you maintain it continually. It's not just like one time you do it, haha. Like even listening to this kind of program, it's great because then that way, you, you know, like consistently you are like, it helps you to get, you know, get back in track in a way. So, I mean, whatever that is, everyone will be different, but you just have to find that kind of path. So for me before, like I, my dad was a great influence. So he always tell me like about these kind of word, that good saying, and like, I'm from Korea. So he always say good Korean saying or Asian saying, and like, oh, you can do it. You know, like you, like in order for you to go to the peak of the mountain, you know, you can never give up, even though like it's, there will be hardship. You just keep on pushing forward. A lot of things. So then those are good, but it's, it's good. And it pushed me in a certain way. But before I found the Velocim, like it wasn't as specifically, you know, it wasn't, it's almost like, you hear with your brain, but it's not really feel with the, your heart in a way. I don't know if it says it right. So after I found the Velocim, it's kind of like really applied to my heart. And my life got so much more complicated after I graduated from Art Institute. So before it was being a daughter, being a, a school student, and growing up as a Korean American female was... Uh, and, you know, very strong father figure, my life was a little bit, it was pretty simple, let's say, yeah, simpler. And then once I graduated, become like artist and a mom, and I have all this different role and a mom, I mean, like, daughter-in-law, all these different things was just a bit chaotic in a way. But I think in these sense, I try different things and it helps me in a way, but I think through Velocim for myself, it allowed me to be more specific because that's something that I do. I paint and that's how I see things with my art. And it's just only things that I think about. So yeah, it becomes more close to like daily life for myself. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And you know, it's, Not a lot of people get to say they love what they do. You know, they put their heart and Mm -hmm. soul into it and it shows right through the work that you have. And, you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self-confidence. What would be that one tip you would give to her? I will say many times you will face difficulties, you know, many different forms and shapes, but just don't let yourself get too into it. I mean, like so many people will say i feel like it's easy to say bad things i think pointing pointing things out so you will hear that but when that happened just 
find a way, you know, like find a little box or something like visually and put those bad things inside and try to find a way to keep yourself positive and, you know, continue to love yourself. Thanks for sharing that. Those are great tips. And I like how you mentioned, Mm -hmm. you know, putting the bad things into a little box and just putting it away somewhere, right? Yeah. Um, You know, and also keep yourself surrounded by like positive people that can really influence you and, you know, so that you can stay positive. Totally. I agree. And Injung, if our listeners want to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, definitely. Um, I actually have Instagram, Injung O. I-N-J-U-N-G-O-H. I have my website, thevelossom.com, V-O-L-O-S-S-O-M.com or injungo.com. Those are my like artist website and Velossom website. Instagram is a good way. Facebook too. <laughs> so yeah, you can learn about me and I'm pretty hands-on with my social media too. So Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Injung, you can also head on over to the Tao of selfconfidence.com and search for Injung's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Injung for taking the time to share her story and journey with us on self-confidence. So thank you so much. Thank you everyone who's listening and thank you, Shina, for allowing me to join you. And yeah. (laughs) Not a problem. It was an honor having you on and share your story. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of another amazing woman's journey to self-confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Get your free self-talk tape for building self-confidence by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.